Hi, good afternoon. Uh, good morning, Houston. Uh, Luis Medina here. For those of you who do not know me, uh, my name is uh, Luis Medina. I'm a real estate agent with Century 21. And uh, today I want to talk to you about um, uh, something that happened today, uh, well, last week or two weeks ago. And uh, I'm just getting a result today. Um, so I, I was selling a house. I'm representing a seller, selling a house, and we had a, an offer. Uh, everything was signed. But the buyer got cold feet and backed out, uh, which is okay. It happens all the time. I've had houses where uh, it wasn't until we got the third buyer under contract that the house sold. Uh, so it doesn't bother me, or I'm not worried about the buyer backing out. That's just part of the business. Uh, but what is interesting is that the um, uh, buyer's agent asked for the earnest money back, which is normal. Uh, but in this case, they weren't entitled to it. Uh, they had passed a certain deadline. And uh, I emailed the buyer's agent and told them, unfortunately, due to the time, your buyer is not entitled to the earnest money. And I sent her a form to sign, releasing, uh, having the title company release the earnest money uh, in a, in form of a check to payable to my client. The uh, agent went ahead and had it signed, and I thought it was, um, I thought it was pretty pretty uh, clean because they didn't make any fuss they didn't complain they didn't uh, because that's what the, that's what the contract says uh, if this happens you know we get the earnest money uh, well my client gets the earnest money so yeah last night I get a call from the buyer's agent and um, I, I wasn't able to answer because I was already having dinner and uh, didn't want to interfere uh, with with what I was doing uh, but I was planning to call him back and then uh, I got a text message from her asking when can she pick up the check? When can she pick up this check? This is the earnest money check made out to my client uh, for over two thousand um, dollars And so when she sent me that text message about when she can pick up the check, I started to wonder Why is she asking for the check? Why is she expecting the check? She must not have read the form I sent her she must not have read it and she had her client sign a form either not understanding what that form meant what the outcome would be this check or she just didn't read it she she just had her client sign something that didn't that wasn't her client's best interest um, and it cost her client two thousand uh, dollars over two thousand uh, dollars so you know, I hear about this all the time. I hear uh, other people, you know, since I got into the business, other friends who've had, when they bought their houses years ago, that they felt their agent wasn't doing a good job, or they felt that they were doing, making more an effort looking for houses than their agent was. And my question is, why? Why did you stick with that agent? Uh, a lot of times they said, we just ended up buying a house, even though this one wasn't the house that we liked or we really liked it we just bought it because we we're just interested in buying something and uh, to me it's all about service when you go to a nice restaurant when you go to any restaurant Whataburger McDonald's you expect a level of service you still expect good customer service and if you don't receive that good customer service you find a way to make it known you either talk to the manager or you stop going to that place or you you stop uh, uh, you select a different restaurant from now on. You don't go there anymore. So why don't you guys do that with your real estate agent? If your agent is not giving you good service, you don't have to use them. You can find a way and get you another agent that will represent your best interest, that will give you excellent service. There's plenty of great agents out here, out there. I'm one of them. I'm one of, I think I'm one of the best because I really care. To me, my clients' uh, uh, happiness, their outcome, making sure they get the best deal possible, making sure that I represent their best interest. That's a, that's the first thing, that's my priority. Um, I come from a banking background, I was, uh, and so to me it's all about that high level of customer service. Uh, so make sure when you're signing something that your real estate agent gives you, or any anybody gives you, make sure to read it. Make sure you understand what's going on, what that form represents. Don't be like this client that they signed it, uh, and their agent either didn't read it or their agent did not understand and they didn't explain this of course to the buyer who, who signed it because now the buyer has lost two thousand over two thousand uh, dollars so 
uh, even when you're making an offer as well, a lot of people will say, oh, we made an offer. Well, when, you're e when your agent emails something to uh, another agent uh, to asking for terms or things like that, that's not an offer. When you're making an offer, you actually sign documentation, whether it's an electronic signature or whether it's a, uh, uh, when you actually get out the form and you sign it. If you didn't sign the document, you didn't officially make an offer on a property. And I see that a lot. A lot of agents, they feel that why go through all that uh, um, trouble to to, uh, to uh, sign a contract when it might not be accepted. But in order for your contract or your offer to be taken seriously, seriously it has to be written down. It has to be signed. Uh, so once again, uh, just wanted to talk to you about this check. I think it's a uh, uh, bad service by, by this agent, especially uh, uh, I was told it was a part-time agent, and I'm not saying anything wrong with part-time agents. I was a part-time agent when I was still at the bank, uh, but you can be a part-time agent and still give great service and still know what your clients are signing. So make sure that uh, when, you're, when you're a real estate agent or any other agent or re representative, uh, someone that's representing you, gives you a form to sign, make sure you understand. Make sure that they understand what it is. Make sure to read it, double check it, because it costs you a lot of money. In real estate, uh, everything has to be written down and uh, there's consequences for everything. So you got to make sure that uh, you have a great agent that represents your best interest and that explains uh, every form to you because like I said, it, it could mean a lot of money. There's uh, I've met a lot of people that have lost a lot of money trying to buy houses that have been two years or more trying to buy houses and they've lost money even when they had agents, even they, when they had real estate agents. It's really easy to get a license. Uh, so there's a lot of agents out there. Make sure you get someone experienced, someone who cares about giving you a great level of service. If you have any questions, give me a call. My number is 713-884-0502. I would love to help you with your real estate goals here in the Houston uh, area. Uh, or you can check out my website, tophoustonhomes.com. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions about the real estate market, give me a call, 713-884-0502.